from KVOA, investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Amanda Gomez. Sean has the night off. One year ago today, two young men were killed in a double homicide on the south side. And tonight, the case remains a mystery. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live where that shooting happened and where a vigil was held earlier tonight. Eric. Amanda, several dozen family and friends coming out tonight to keep the memory of these young men alive and continue holding out hope for some resolution. Two mothers bonded together by unimaginable grief, now fighting together to bring justice for their sons. The hugs were plentiful and the emotion still raw one year later. Mama loves you and she will always love you, my love. March 9, 2021, Chris Nunez and his best friend Bernie Santa Maria were shot to death on the south side. Two of 93 homicides on the streets of Tucson last year. Their case is still unsolved. Police say it all started as an incident of vandalism. They say Chris and Bernie confronted a suspect and there was a shootout. I don't want it to be brushed under the rug. I don't want people to forget that these boys were killed. Detectives are looking for answers. So too is everyone gathered on this street Wednesday night. Chris's mother, Selena, organized this vigil to remember these two young men and keep the case on the community's radar. Every day is emotional. Um, uh, today I'm doing okay so far because I feel like I'm doing something, you know, something to, to help. Um, and, and that's right now is what I'm striving for is I'm, my, I'm the voice for my son at this point. He's not here, so I have to be. Selena's partner in this fight Good. is Bernie's mom, Carmen. If they didn't even know you, they will help you. As simple as that. They were actually like brothers, so attached to each other. And I know they're still here and they're still helping other people. We all want answers and we want justice for them. I miss him, his laugh. He had an excellent laugh. He's got a beautiful smile, beautiful eyes. A lot of fun, very quick-witted. It's too young. He should still be here with us. One year after the killings, no arrests have been made. Friends and family writing messages on balloons and sending them to the sky with the hope that answers come soon and maybe some peace will follow. He had dreams. Um, they both had dreams, and those dreams were taken away by these people that killed him. Chris was 23, Bernie was 22. The last thing Bernie's mom said to me after our interview, I'm trying every day. If you have any information that can help detectives in this case, please call 88 Crime. We're live tonight on the South Side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.